this is the fifth in my little series of tips, top tips to help out with preparation for any wild fox event. This time it's more specific, it's for those events related to cycling, be it road biking or on the mountain bike. The other videos which you can check back on, the first one I was talking about endurance training, making sure you got the stamina for the events. In the second video you can check out all about teamwork. In the third I was talking about training and nutrition, things which are really going to help you be in the right shape for the event. And in the fourth it's what I call daft details, the things which are quite easy to forget but are going to make your life a lot more comfortable when you're out on the event. In terms of the bike, well, a lot of people might not be used to riding a bike before committing to one of these events. You might be an expert, but it's still worth thinking about the bike being in the right shape, being comfortable on the bike, and just making sure you can take care of the bike and yourself when you're actually out on the, on the road. So the first thing to do when you get your bike is just make sure that everything's secure on it. If you've not ridden it for a while, making sure that the tires are pumped up okay. You're looking at 50 to 60 in terms of pressure, PSI, if you're on a mountain bike. Maybe 100, 110 if you're on a road bike. If your tires are too soft, it will make it harder for yourself out there and you might puncture. It's worth doing this to your bike. It's ever, if everything sounds quite solid, nothing's rattling around, then you should be okay. The one thing I would check is your tires. Make sure the quick release on the tires isn't gonna come loose and your wheel's gonna fall off. In terms of safety, brakes are by far the most important thing. Do a few miles. Make sure your back and your front brake are pulling on well. And think on those big ascents that you need to be pulling on both brakes. I've seen it happen time and time again. People pulling on their front brake and going straight over the top. The way to brake effectively is to pull on your front brake and then just a millisecond afterwards, pull on the back brake. It stops you skidding and that's how you're gonna stop fastest. Now in terms of actually riding the bike, you wanna make sure that your saddle height is comfortable. Some of these events are quite long on the road and you need to make sure that when you get on the bike, you can touch the ground. You're not gonna be loading up too much pressure on your arms. If you do do that, then it means you need to drop your saddle a little bit but in actual fact, the most common mistake is to have a saddle which is too low. If your saddle's too low, it ends up very uncomfortable through the legs and you're just not very efficient at all in your pedaling motion. So make sure you're comfortable on the bike, make sure it's set up right. If you're not sure yourself, do get your bike to a bike shop before the event. And if you turn up on the day and you've still got a question about whether something's okay, ask your friend, ask one of the event organizers, because there's nothing worse than getting halfway around an event and your bike falls to bits. The last thing to think about is what have you got in your back pocket? Have you got a spare tyre? Have you got a pump? Can you change a puncture? Can you keep going if things go wrong? There's going to be plenty of people on the event with you to look after you. Maybe those that know more about bikes if you are worried about that. But um, it is worth thinking about these things rather than just pulling the bike out of the garage the night before. 